I'm not sure how big my next guest business card is, but with all the titles that he does possess, I'm betting that it's double the size of anyone else's. I caught up with Darren Ray to have a chat about his career in harness racing and, of course, all things Madawi Lodge. Darren, good to catch up with you and no doubt the family that you're involved with, the Ray family, your career in harness racing was etched in stone right from day one. Yeah, it probably was. Uh, Dad was well involved in it, so yeah, he was always involved. Yeah, let's talk about your late father, Tom, passed away a couple of years ago. What a legacy has he has left as far as harness racing is concerned? Yeah, he left a lot, um, did a lot of stuff for, for um, breeders and stuff like that in New South Wales, so yeah, he did a, did a lot for everyone. His career spent over 60 years in involving training, but also mainly in the breeding industry. Yeah, he drove a couple, but trained a few, but um, breeding where his heart lied, that's where he loved it. He was also a chicken chicken farmer when he had some time. Yeah, he did a few things. Uh, they started at a milk run uh, years ago, and then they went into a caravan, and then beef, and then ended up with the chickens at the end, yep. But now he lies first established, Darren, in 1999, named after one of the wonderful performers of the 90s, Madawi Prince. Yeah, he was a good, good old horse, tough. He was super tough, so yeah, he was a great horse to us. 1993, he took out the Newcastle Mile. A year later, the Bohemia Fruit Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, back in 1993, Madawi Prince won the Newcastle Mile. Then a year later, the Bohemia Crystal Free for All. And also contested an Inter Dominion. Yeah, he ran second in a heat uh, to Valley Champ. Um, just got beat a nose in one of the heats. And um, I think he made it through to the final that year. It was a yeah, big thrill for everyone there involved. 103 engagements for 21 placings, but 33 wins. So his strike rate was outstanding as far as win percentage. Yeah, I was only pretty little when he was going around, and I remember he raced at Redcliffe 190, won the Redcliffe Cup, and then backed up in a free for all at Albion Park the next night, and he won that again. He was just a tough old horse. And he was bred by dad? Yeah, bred by dad. Um, he was supposed to go to the sales in Melbourne, but uh, he bought the chicken farm that year, and we couldn't move, um, couldn't take him to Melbourne to sell, and we, um, yeah, we kept him. So. Darren, I mentioned your business card, apart from being a trainer and a driver of some note before, also a stud master, breeder, owner, trainer and vice president of the Harness Breeders of New South Wales. Yeah, and um, on the board of Newcastle Harness Racing Club as well, so um, yeah, we do everything, so yeah. How do you find the time? We don't sleep. Now, with Dowie Lodge, as we mentioned, established 1999, it's just gone from strength to strength, and the flagship for the last couple of years has been Tiger Tara. Yeah, he's a great horse, Tiger Tara. Um, it's great to have him at home um, and starting to leave a heap of good winners now, so he's doing his own a good old job. Yeah, his project is going extremely well. Yeah, there's one one in Tasmania the other day, um, sat parked and just ran away from him. He went really well. Um, and yeah, he shows a lot of toughness. His toughness and his durability and his will to win was his trademarks throughout his career. Dean, 112 starts, 37 wins, 40 placings, $2.3 million in prize money. Of course, that golden run he had taking out the Inner Dominion, the AG Hunter Cup and the Victoria Cup. Yeah, it was just amazing. I just let, you know, cut him loose down the back and catch me if you can type tactics with him. He was just super tough and super fast. What a combination, Tiger Tara. Kevin Bazzuto, his trainer, who now trains a lot of his progeny, and Todd McCarthy. Yeah, it was unbeatable that, that year. It was just unbeatable that year, so it was unreal. Oh, the horses standing there, follow the stars, and Trotter's Timothy Red, not so much these days, but my high expectations. Yeah, follow the stars doing a great job. He just gets winner after winner. Um, he probably hasn't got a superstar, but he just keeps turning out winners. And um, old Exy, as we called him, um, he's doing a sensational job. He's got three or four running out Albion Park now and, and winning four and five races. They're, they're going really well. Madawi Lodge, Darren, family involvement runs deep. Yeah, it does. It does really deep. Yeah. Now, with your foals, you have a bit of a mixture as far as your outlook is concerning the foals. Yeah, we um, we sell most of them now. Um, we've probably changed tact since Dad's passed. Um, we don't keep many, many now. Um, we've only kept one or two maybe every year, just as a breeding stock. Um, but if the right money's there, I'll sell. Darren, what would be the best horse fold at Madawi? Um, Dad would say Dunroman, um, but I'd say Silk Cloud. Don't remember, we're going back a bit there with the Honans. Yeah, yeah, they had him there and um, old Jack bought him. He loved him on the day and, yeah, Jack bought him. Yeah, he just loved him. Why Silk Cloud? She's doing a great, great job in America at the moment. She's won a couple of um, Phillies and Mares invitation at Yonkers and, um, yeah, just going really well. She's won nearly 300000 over there now, so doing a sensational job. You've trained a lot of nice horses, Darren, in particular Marika Springfield, which gave you your first Group 1, which was a uh, Group 2, sorry, which was an APG. Yeah, yeah, she was in the winner APG race down in, um, at Melton. Uh, went really well. Yeah, she was a really nice mare. She went on to win 100 or 1,000. So, yeah, she was a great little mare. 
Better than Max and rolling with Holly will also be up there? Yeah, better than Max. He was super fast. He was super fast. He just come off any speed and just, you know, fly. Um, rolling with Holly, um, she ran fourth here in a Breeders' Challenge. Should have probably won it, but, yeah, another 10 metres, we would have went close. Is there another one that's uh, particularly fond as far as you're concerned? Um, she chose us. Uh, I love She Chose Us. She took us around Australia, chasing all the Group 1 races and stuff like that. She was a big thrill. Darren, apart from the excellent service you provide the foals and all your horses at Madawi Lodge, you're also very much into the rehoming of horses. Yeah, it's probably not me, it's more so. Um, it's probably my partner, Emma. She does all the rehoming of the horses and rides them and stuff like that. Her and her daughter, Olivia, do a great job riding the horses and, um, yeah, teach them a life after racing. Spunky's got secrets. Is there an interesting uh, way this horse has been named? No, I don't know. Um, Cole Stanford, who owns them, he calls them all Spunkies. That's his little uh, little niche name. Um, yeah, he comes up with some weird and wacky ones, but um, yeah, they all um, have you know a bit of meaning somewhere. Well, it's certainly going all right. It's very consistent. Yeah, he's got has got a few little quirks. So I'll leave that now. He's uh, we've sorted him out, and hopefully he'll uh, go well tonight. Well, and continued success with Madawi Lodge and also with uh, the small team. How many would you have under your care at any, any one time? Um, we've only got three or four racing. We've got a few babies starting now. Um, we just finished all the breakers now. We did 45 breakers. Um, and a few of them are just starting to come back in now. So, yeah. So what's the process from uh, the foaling through to where they leave your particular establishment? Yeah, we have them there. You know, we breed them and then fold them down. Um, and then they all go to the sales. Um, and then some may come back. Um, and then we'll bring them back in, probably in the hour for a couple of months, just to a, an education prep, and then depending where they are situated, where they race, um, when they come back into that third prep for a race prep. Well, it's been great to catch up with you. Thanks for your time. No worries. Thank you.